graphs. Ladies and gentlemen, here what we want to do is find the reference angle, right? So there's a couple things we need to remember about the reference angle. The reference angle is the acute angle between our terminal side and our x-intercept. Or I'm sorry, and our x-axis. Damn. Reference angle. Put that away. So if I want to find the reference angle, what I need to do is I need to determine what is this angle going to look like. Well, let's remember. <coughs> let's remember what our radians looks like. Because here there's no degree, so therefore I know it's not in degrees. What this is is this is in terms of radians. So I need to remember how big is actually a radian. Remember, a radian is your radius wrapped around. So you have one, two, three, and remember, so that's one, two, three. Remember, halfway around a circle was 3.14159, what we call pi radians. Right? So therefore, probably four is probably like right there. You know, so that's like the fourth radian. So if they say I have 3.5 radians, my angle is probably right here. So if I want to find the acute angle between my theta, between my terminal side and the x-axis, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take theta, whenever it's in the third quadrant, if you guys remember your notes, you take theta, which is your angle, minus pi to obtain your reference angle, which we call theta prime. So my angle is 3.5 minus pi equals theta prime. And I'll take my handy calculator. 3.5 minus, <coughs> I don't know if pi is on this calculator. And I get theta prime equals 0.35841. So that is going to be the angle and radians of my reference angle. Anybody have any questions on that? I thought it was 180. No, it's going to be 0.35841. I thought you would subtract You subtract it from 180 if it's in the second quadrant. Uh, Just remember, there's three rules I gave you on reference angles. You're going to have to remember, it all depends on which quadrant it's in.